Hey YouTube, uh, welcome to my tutorial on how to create high quality screencasts like what I'm doing right now. I'm going to show you how to add two audio files such as my voice and background music. This background music was made by Reasoner from Newgrounds. Um, I'm just going to give him credit for that. Well, first software you need is GTK Record My Desktop. So what you want to do is open up Terminal and type this in. sudo apt get install oh, sorry I can't type GTK record my desktop then press enter type in your password then you are good you could also do this from the Ubuntu software center this is just an easier way alright so now let's head over to our Ubuntu software center uh, you need to install audacity there we go install audacity this is so we can combine our voice and our background music into one file so they'd be playing both just on one file and next one you need is DVD there we go and this what it allows is because GTK its video output format is OGV and DVD simply converts it into AVI so our video editing software can recognize it Okay, now another last one you will need is called uh, Avidemux. I, I'm really not sure how to pronounce that. Then I just install all of these, but the main thing you need is Avidemux GTK Plus or Avidemux QT. Either one works just fine. This is our video editing software. Alright, so we got that out of the way, so let's head over to Sound and Video GTK Record My Desktop. And thing you need to remember before you start recording, um, go on your panel, click Add to Panel, and then I uh, go scroll down to where is it? Notification area. You need to add that, okay? And then what this does is make sure that the square button and the record button is on here, so you can stop recording with GTK Record My Desktop. I did not have that, so I just thought it'd be a helpful tip. So on record my desktop, I uncheck sound quality because it has a problem recording the pulse audio. Yeah, I guess it just has a problem calibrating with our my sound card. I guess a lot of people have that problem, so I don't feel too stupid about it. Um, so what I do is I use sound recorder. Just open that up. See, this is what it is. And as you can see here, you could see me recording right now as I talk. So... I'm already using it. Okay, but what I do to record, I well first we gotta go to advanced. Click on your advanced tab, then we'll change the options here. Uh, keep that as it is. Performance 15, 16, you know, just zero compression. That means you'll get the high quality show full shots at every frame. So that means you can record this, you know, 3D special effects, which is pretty cool. Um, sound I used to record with Pulse, but it, it gets screwed up a lot. And follow mouse, I use Compiz, so I don't need to follow my mouse. I just use Compiz to zoom in and out, like what I'm doing right now. Alright, well, anyway, I just keep those as they are. Then save as... Uh, I'm going to save mine as... YouTube. On my desktop. And then I'll just click save. And then what I do is I hurry and click record on the sound. Then hurry and record on record my desktop. But I don't want to record two at once because that will confuse my Pulse Audio because it's already screwed up enough. I don't like that about Ubuntu. Everything else about Ubuntu is amazing, just the Pulse Audio is effed up. Okay, well anyway, so we're going to make our video. So I'm going to start recording. So we're recording right now, and uh, I'm just going to make one. Hey YouTube, perfect video. Okay, so I'm going to stop recording now, let it encode, and... Uh, onto my desktop. Notice how it's o OGV format, which uh, a Vidmux won't recognize, so we gotta convert it into AVI. So just let that finish uh, encoding. Trust me, the encoding waiting is completely worth it because it is so high quality. I really like this software a lot better than the Windows software, like, I don't know what software they use. <laughs> Cam Studio and Hypercam, all those suck. Okay, well, Anyway, so since it's already encoded and all that, just exit out. And uh, I would extract my sound, but 
you know, I, I didn't record it, so I'm just gonna pretend I did. So I'm just gonna grab a sound file from here. So like voice, there we go. Okay, then just back out of that. So you extracted your sound from Sound Recorder, and now we want to convert OGV into AVI. So go to Sound and Video, and uh, go to DVD. Okay, so now go to Div X and pick four. Click on that. Then I uh, click Add on the file None. Go to uh, click it. Go to Desktop or wherever you saved it and double click your video. Then right here, advanced options, you'll see a plus sign. Click on that. Keep general as it is. Video format, if you want high quality, do 920 by 1080 and aspect ratio to 16.9. That means only two bars, black bars will be going across, just like you're seeing right now. So it'll be widescreen format. Um, click everything, make everything else the same. Click OK. Forward, I'm gonna name mine YouTube video and then I'm gonna save it on my desktop so you let that save real quick it uh, converts it pretty quickly then you'll notice how it's a separate folder like this um, no worries your AVI f video files in here just job done just exit out of that okay so simply just drag your drag your AVI folder right there and then since you don't you don't need this folder anymore so just screw that okay now I have AVI so I don't need OGV so I'm just gonna delete that I like to keep a clean desktop okay so now you wanna combine this voice file with a music file so grab a music file your background music and then you wanna put these two into one so you want to convert them into one so what you do is let's jump over to audacity it's under sound and video there it is if it doesn't load the first time just restart your computer and it'll load again it has a problem with that so put in your voice and let that import and then uh, put in your background music right under it let that import alright there you go and uh there's the voice, those two, and then the background is this two. What I like to do in the background is make it a little quieter than my voice so you can hear me. So do File, Export, and I'm going to name it as Voice, then save it as Wave or MP3. I choose Wave, that's the best. And then uh, just click OK. Then they're going to convert it into one, and there it goes. See how it popped up right there? So these two just both went into that one. So the, so you don't need these two anymore. So I'll just uh, delete them. Okay, so there's your voice stop wave. Okay, so just exile that. You don't need to save it because you already have it converted. So now go to a, a Vidimux. I don't know. I sound like a retard when I do it. Okay, don't make fun of me. I cry. Alright, can now go uh, just drag your AVI folder, I mean uh, video into the blank space go on video make sure you just keep your mouse hovered over there and then click it again and then do zoom to one half and then I'm just gonna minimize well I don't know the opposite of maximize make it a smaller screen do that okay now go to audio main track and then uh, external wave or if you chose to do mp3 do external mp3 but I chose to convert it into wave then browse find your wave file there's my voice wave, open, then click OK. So now there's your audio. Um, second track, you can do it with second track, it just hardly ever works. I don't know how to get it to work, so I just combine it into one file and use main track. Then it's happy days. Okay, now on audio, go to MP3 lane, configure, quality all the way up to 9 or else it's going to be choppy. And then uh, keep it AVI format. Then go to File, Save, Save Video, save it as Final YouTube, or whatever you want to save it as. And then I'm going to save it on my desktop, click Save, and then boom, it's saved just like that. Amazing. I know. I'm pro. Alright, and then uh, there you go. You're done. So you don't need these anymore, so just delete them. Then there's your final project. Uh, 
Hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to do this. Please uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I really need subscribers. So um, if you have any questions about this video, just leave a comment. Any questions about any other particular subject, I'll try and answer it. And if you want me to make a tutorial, just give me a, I don't know, an idea for a tutorial. Uh, thank you very much. I very much so appreciate it.